So, um, welcome along to the home of Vice Press uh, here in Rotherham, Sheffield, uh, this neck of the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have been uh, spending the morning uh, in the company of these two delightful gentlemen uh, showcasing the work of Mr. Matt Ferguson and we also have James Henshaw as well from Vice Press. Right, um, number one, how's the day gone? How do you feel for yourself? I mean, you, you, you're looking still smiling, you're not yeah. frayed yeah. at the edges. Exhausting. 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 Yeah, it's very good. There's yeah. lots of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't do well. I'm just going to say, because the last time I saw you yeah. was at the Thought Bubble um, exhibition that you did. Yeah. And even then it was like, oh, this is a bit much for me, man. I'm not a social person. Oh, so. fair enough. Our okay. expectation was five people. What no, I said, that, I think, what I, said I think, I think, I think <laughs> I'm lucky if five people came. Really? And then somebody said to me this morning when I woke up at seven o'clock, there's five people queuing up already. <laughs> and, like, oh, okay. and then you saw the Facebook group and you yeah. saw the, the event page yeah. and it was like 100, 200. I think, I think about, I think 80 to 100 people came through, which is far more than what we thought. Yeah. And just barely manageable, but good. We're grateful that they came. Absolutely. Very grateful. Cool. Um, what has been the kind of like the highlight for yourself? Uh, has it been people who have been bringing things that they've already got, those prized possessions? Yes, yeah. I love that when people yeah. bring something. And has there been any, anything that's design. kind of crossed your table that's just gone, oh, I haven't seen that for a while? Because I kind of overheard you that you don't keep your own stuff. Or you, Not you really. No. There's lots of stuff I've not got anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Anything that you just went, oh, yeah, I haven't seen that for a while. Not really. The one thing that sticks out is the, the Close Encounters print from just the exhibition we've just done mm. because it's just a foil version. I, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, that does look really nice. Yeah. So it was nice that someone had just got that, had it delivered, and then came here to get straight to get signed, which is nice. Nice. It's always an interesting one because we're based in the middle of nowhere, we we're in Rotherham, Sheffield, and to have, every, you know, typically these things are in London or they're overseas in New York or San Diego, and just to have people come and make an effort from Manchester, from Wales, there's some people that came from Cornwall. It was quite heartwarming that they came yeah. for Matt and for Vice Press and that they brought stuff to get signed. There was people that had only heard about us a month ago and didn't realise that we'd been running for a couple of years and didn't know about Matt and knew about Mark. You know, so it was good to be able to do something where we could talk to folks. Yeah. yeah relatively informal setting really. Well yeah. I think that's also interesting that you say about that and people are discovering about Vice Press and uh, about your own work. Um, obviously I think for the uh, man on the street or man or woman on the street they know of you from your uh, giveaways with uh, cinema prints and the Marvel, the Marvel stuff, stuff yeah. and then the, the things you've done there. But in America, you're, I mean, you've had a hell of a year. I mean the, that uh, exhibition, Bottleneck, yeah, uh, that, that was, was something really special. Uh, I remember seeing the post as well that you put up when you saw your the, the advertisement for that in Times Square. Yeah. Times <laughs> what was that like? I mean, to I don't. I'm not was sure that an out of, Was that an out yeah, of body I experience? I think it might still be a bit of a hallucination. I might just. <laughs> I don't think that really happened. Wow. Okay. How was that exhibition as well? How did that go down? Phenomenal. So yeah. the, the Amblin-S thing was we've been planning that for nearly a year now, in terms of when we started doing it, and it was pulling together. When you, when you kind of look to do a, a gallery, we've done galleries in the past and they've always been with one license or so with 2000 AD and when we did Matt's retrospective exhibition and things along those lines. The thing with Amblin S, because while Amblin was the overall and our overarching theme, there were several different licensors within that that we had to navigate through, whether that's Universal, Sony, Warner Brothers, Lucasfilm and all of those kind of guys and bringing it all together. So. There was a lot of work that went out on behind the scenes yeah. and Matt and Flory did an exceptional job um, in pulling it all together and kind of having such a huge kind of breadth and range of what we did that kind of celebrated that. So it was, it, it was kind of a, definitely a first for us and I think in terms of from a thematic perspective it was quite unique as well. Mm. So it was good, it was, I mean the, the artwork was amazing, working with Bottleneck is always very easy and the guys there were great to work with. The Amblin had complete trust in us and they really helped us a lot, you know, through the guys at the top end of Amblin kind of pushing through. Um, it, 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 so it all came together. It could have been a car crash. <laughs> it wasn't. It was great. Excellent. Um, when it comes to licenses, uh, obviously you, the profile for your work and also for Vice Press as well has grown phenomenally over the last uh, three, four, five years. Um, is it now getting easier to? either ask for licensing or are they are they actually starting to come to you now for um, yeah. do your your work and your input into that? Yeah, I think 
helps. Yeah. It does help when you go, I've done this, this, this. Mm. They all just go, okay, yeah, then you can do that then. Yeah. So it just leads on to doing more stuff. It's, it's like a monster feeling. It just itself. Is easy to sell, yeah. yeah. How's that going to work with, say, with Marvel? Uh, now it's the, uh, the close of phase three. Uh, has been has there been conversations about where it goes next, and uh, or is it from film to film? I'm, I'm under NDA. Yeah, so. fair enough. <laughs> oh, we, we were saying before we, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> roll, we were going to be rolling, we we're going to skirt past. I appreciate that, but at least there's the conversations. It's going to be. Uh, up, I love working with Marvel. So you do. It's like my favourite thing. Okay. Comics, Marvel. Fair so, yeah. Um, any. We, we were talking about uh, things we were going to ask you before we yeah, hit play. Any licenses that you would like to kind of uh, touch on? Because, uh, I mean, we have Neil, who's currently filming yeah. this. He mentioned Lost Boys. That would be something that he would like well, uh, to see. Well, Bottleneck have got Lost Boys. Right, now, okay. So they've just done like, that reproduction of the comic from the mm -hmm. film and stuff. And there's, I've already spoken to them. <laughs> so that, that could be something. Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters. Will be <laughs> he loves Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters is the. Uh, I like old, the the I like old films, so I, I, like I'm looking at stuff like Silent Running, old sci fi movies. Wow. Like that. I'd love to do 2001 and things like that. Which is why I'm guessing the, the doing things like Close Encounters was. Uh, yeah, that's why that, that was like a must have for me for the yeah. exhibition. It was really hard to pull off. He sorted it out with Sony and everything. But I just love doing it because I love that movie so much. I love old sci fi. Cool. Star Trek. That's yeah. well. well, I mean, you've got the, it's the anniversary year, so uh, now's yeah. the best time to do it. Speaking of which, um, things that you've got coming barreling down the pipe, and you also have other um, mm -hmm. conventions and shows coming up. I'm presuming Thought Bubble is Thought on Bubble. the cards, yeah. um, so that's happening this year. What else is planned for so, the UK and for North America? We've got a couple of special things planned for Thought Bubble, which we're not going into too much detail, <laughs> but we'll be doing something special. So Thought, Bubble's, Thought Bubble means a lot to us. Um, Thought Bubble's where me and Matt first met properly. Um, we've been doing it for a couple of years, it's local, the guys that run it are great and there's no convention in the world that is kind of like that mm -hmm. in terms of the way they look after and artists. And the tone as well is yeah. very much, yeah. And Lisa, to Lote that runs it, she's great to work with as well. New York Comic Con, we're over there again this year working with the Bottleneck guys, we've got plans for that. There are certain anniversaries this year that we are celebrating, so you know, I'll not give those away. <laughs> um, and we're working on that. Um, and what we can do for those, we've got we've got tons of exciting stuff in the pipeline. Not just with the film posters. The reason we started Vice Press, my, me and Matt started Vice Press, was to celebrate UK licenses, 2000 AD. What we could do with that, we then kind of did the same thing with the Prisoner. There are other, I guess, very well known UK-based licenses that we um, we are looking to explore, and we've got something exciting that we're going to be announcing in the next couple of months that we've been working hard on for about a year now um, and that we will launch with quite a, a unique range as well that we're excited about sure. um, so there's that so we're not we're still staying true to what we set out with vice press but looking to what we can do to expand out with posters and things as well quite organic really yeah, yeah. i mean that was going to be my next question because like i say the uh, the, the, the profile has expanded worldwide and internationally now with the, uh, the, 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 the success of New York, with the success of all the other uh, North American shows. But it's always nice to look uh, at the, the, the roots yeah. and also, like I say, 2000 AD stuff, which was just phenomenally successful. Yeah. I'm guessing that um, that's still going to continue and the, yeah. uh, the, re the relationship with the rebellion in 2000 AD. Definitely. I uh, we just spoke we to them the other day. Yeah, we're cool. kind of helping them out with bits and bobs. There's things that Rebellion have obviously got in the pipeline um, that they're working on that we will we hope to be involved with mm -hmm. um, as well. So while the kind of comic prints and things like that, we might not do any more of those. There's certainly other bits and bobs. We're going back to that. You made a very good point about the grassroots thing, and that's one of the things why we did today. We wanted to do it for folks that live locally and folks that have supported us and come across and kind of from a UK perspective. We know Anne Burnett was in New York, and that was kind of difficult folks to get to. Yeah. So we wanted to do something kind of from a from home really as well. Um, so yeah. Well it's safe to say the home crowd have enjoyed the open day they've I mean they came out and they joined oh, right. so I mean, like I say they just my mum and dad came. Well, well uh, that's always <laughs> a, well I mean it's always nice when that happens because then you can say 
mum. Dad, embarrassed with it's you. It's worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember when I wanted to just sketch at home? Like, this is work. It's, it's real. It's, it's real. It's really happy. <laughs> proper job. A proper job. <laughs> a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much to for talking to us, and yeah. congratulations thank on you. a great day. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thank